Have you guys ever heard of the birthday paradox? Imagine a group of 23 random people. What is the probability that at least two people have the same birthday? And these are random people, so no twins or anything like that. So it's gonna be easiest to calculate the probability that nobody has the same birthday, and then just do 100% minus whatever that gives us. First, let's start with the one pair of people. So the first person has a birthday, whatever that is. Then what is the probability that the second person does not have the same birthday? Well, there are 364 possible days that don't match out of 365. So their probability is three. 364 over 365. Now let's bring in a third person. What is the probability that that third person does not have the same birthday as either of those other two? Well, that leaves 363 out of 365 days. So we can just multiply these. And the fourth person to not match any of these three would be 362 over 365. And this pattern continues for the rest of the people in the group. After we multiply all of these probabilities, we get approximately 49.27%. So the probability is 49.27% that no one shares a birthday. So if we do 100% minus that, we get a 50.73% probability that at least two people have the same birthday. So if it feels weird that 23 people out of 365 days can do this, it might be better to look at this at the number of pairs. If we look at the first person in the group, he has 22 pairs he can match with. Then the next person has 21 new pairs they could match with. And the next person has 20 new pairs of people they could match with. And this pattern is going to continue. So there are going to be 253 pairs. We're just trying to get at least one of these 253 pairs to match. And if you think of it that way, the 50.73% seems much more realistic. Every one of these 253 pairs is a possible chance for a birthday match. And this is the birthday paradox.